Hey guys, ready for another quick ballet tip. Today's video is going to be on a correction that I've been giving a lot recently on Porter Bra Forward and just the hand movement on the bar. So let's get right into it. All right, so the biggest thing here is that when you are holding the bar, you're not gripping the bar, right? I've already made a video on how to hold the bar, but you want to make sure that you can move that hand along the bar as you move. Because if you're gripping and you move this way, your hand stays behind you. That's going to do all sorts of funky things to your shoulders and your ribs. The hand has to be able to move and glide with you. And I see this as a common problem when we go to do port de bras forward, where the hand doesn't move forward forward with you and then it leaves the elbow up, it's doing something funky to your shoulder, your rib, and it throws the entire stretch off. So let's take a look at this really quick. You're in first position, right, and you've done your plies and if the arm doesn't move forward with you into that port de bras forward and you take the port de bras forward, do you see what's happening here with my shoulder and my arm and how it also ends up kind of making me want to send my hips back, which is something that we already want to do in port de bras forward that we're trying to work against, right? I've made a video on port de bras forward that I'll link below, but you really want to keep the weight in the balls of your feet, and you want to work on pouring yourself out over the legs instead of sitting back, because that's really not going to do anything for you. So you're feeling the tripod of the foot through the floor. You're feeling that spinal energy up the leg so that the backs of the legs are wrapping together. Then you have to let this hand on the bar slide forward to take your port de bras over and come back up. And then you move the hand back. But when you're doing the slide forward, you can still, uh, still have pressure on that hand to help you because it does require a lot of core and a lot of strength to be able to do that port de bras forward without falling forward. It's going to feel like you want to fall forward, and we'd rather have that than have you sitting back, right? So let the hand be forward. You can have a little pressure in the fingertips, and then stay forward, stay forward, lengthen out through the pelvic floor, through the abdominals, through the spine to come back up, and then the hand moves back. If you have a situation where you have two bars, you can grab that lower bar. That can be helpful sometimes. But the main point of this video is I just want to bring attention to the fact that this happens a lot. And it's not good for your alignment. <laughs> so just take a look at that. Take a look at how you do your port bra forward. If your hand moves and glides along the bar, if that shoulder, elbow, or rib gets thrown off of alignment, and if you're able to stay forward on the feet and pour yourself forward. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. I'm Elizabeth, creator of The Whole Point, which is a place for dancers who are looking to find balance in the studio and in life, which just means we talk about all things ballet, mindset, and holistic health. So find the links below to connect with me on Instagram, sign up for my email list, send me an email, give me your questions, give me your story. I love hearing from you guys. That's why I do everything that I do. And let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.